Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. Let us look at this problem related to coordinate geometry, distance between two points or straight lines. We have been given a square ABCD. We know the opposite vertices A and C. Their coordinates are minus 1 comma 2 and 3 comma 2. We have to find out the remaining two vertices of the square. Now we can solve this problem using 11th grade concepts or we can solve them using 10th grade concepts. In this particular video, we will solve it using 10th grade concept that is distance between two points combined with properties of square as we are dealing with square here. Now first let us write down what are the properties of square so that we can apply coordinate geometry concepts to find out the two opposite vertices B and D. First what we know about a square? We know in a square all the sides are equal. So we know that AB is equal to BC is equal to CD is equal to AD. Now this is the first point we know about the square. That means if I square them they are all equal. So can I say AB square equal to BC square. Now that is one thing we can say. Second we know the diagonal of a square is root 2 times of the side. That means if I know that if this length is a, this length is a, then the diagonal is root 2 into a by Pythagoras theorem. So, we know that diagonal ac is equal to root 2 2 times of any of the sides ab or bc. Let us consider ab. Now, square it on both sides. What will happen? We will have ac square is equal to 2 into a b square. Now these two equations are enough for us to solve this particular problem. What are we need to find out two variables that is x coordinate and y coordinate. We have two equations. First condition is all sides are equal in a square. Second is square of diagonal is equal to two times of square of the side of a square. So first let us say b is x comma y we need to find out this x comma y now first condition we will write down a b square is equal to b c square from 1 i will write down from 1 a b square is equal to b c square what is a b square x plus 1 whole square because the formula is x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square that is y minus 2 whole square is equal to bc square that is x minus 3 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square. Now y minus 2 whole square is same so we can cancel it out on both the sides. Simplify this to find out the value of x. So we can write down x minus 3 whole square minus x my x plus 1 whole square is equal to 0. Now this is a square minus b square. I can write it as a plus b into a minus b or you can open them and you can do that also. I can open that and say x square minus 6x plus 9 minus x square minus 2x minus 1 is equal to 0 or x square x square I can cancel. I can write down minus 8x plus 8 equal to 0 or x equals to 1. Once we got x equals to 1, now we can go to the second condition. Let us go to the second condition now. We will write down from 2 what we know from equation 2. ac square equal to 2 times of ab square. Now what I can write down? AC square is equal to 2 times of AB square. What is AC square? The distance between A and C. Square it up. 
so we have minus 1 comma 2 3 comma 2 actually which is a horizontal line 3 minus minus 1 that is 4 square plus 2 minus 2 that is 0 square is equal to 2 into a b square we already know what is a b square earlier we have written x plus 1 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square but we know x value x equal to 1 so why can't we substitute that we can write down 16 equal to 2 into x plus 1 1 plus 1 is 2 square plus y minus 2 whole square let us simplify that we will have 16 equal to 2 into 4 plus y minus 2 whole square let's open the brackets we will have 16 by 2 8 equal to 4 plus y minus 2 whole square or can we write down y minus 2 whole square is equal to 4 or y minus 2 equals to plus or minus 2 that will give us y equals to 0 or y equals to 4 we know x equal to 1 that means x equals to 1 y equals to 0 will be the coordinates of b and x equals to 0 and y equals to 4 will be the coordinates of d so the coordinates of vertices b and d are 1 comma 0 1 comma 4 let's have a recap of this problem we have been given a square we have been given two opposite vertices a and c we have to find out the remaining two vertices we want to leverage tenth grade concepts of distance between two points and properties of square what we know about the square we know that all sides are equal and we also know that square of diagonal equals to two times square of a side or if side is a then diagonal is root 2 into a by pythagoras theorem so we leveraged these two conditions first condition gave us x equal to 1 substituted x equal to 1 in the second condition then we got y equals to 0 or 4 that means the coordinates are x 1 y 0 1 comma 0 and another one x equal to 1 y equal to 4 that is 1 comma 4.